Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies, and in this video, I want to go over the um, Z bar or the key retaining system for the Abus 83 series padlocks. Now, as what I have here is the 8345 300, which means it has a Schlage SC1 keyway in it. Now, how they come out of the box from Abus is with this, and you can see in all in all these new padlocks, they even put a little picture of the Z bar right here. Now, is what the Z bar does is it makes it key retaining, makes the padlock key retaining. So, um, when I take this key, I put it in here and I open the lock. As you can see, I can't pull the key out. To get the key out, you have to lock it. it brings it back over, and then I can pull the key out. Now let me open this up and let me show you what the Z-Bar is and how you can make the lock either key retaining or non-key retaining. The first thing you want to do is open up the lock and you're going to see this little Phillips screw down there. You're going to want to take that out, just like that, just like that, and then this whole cylinder is going to come out. Now when it did, you see the little Z-Bar just dropped there on me. Now, let me uh, show you the C bar. There's two sides to it. There's a side that has this little uh, black dot on it, and then the other side has nothing. Now, if you want it to be key retaining, you want to put the Z bar in, and you want to make sure that the black dot is facing up so you can see it. Now, I just put that Z bar in there. Let me zoom in. I'll put a little angle, a little light on it, you can see there. So that's how that Z-Bar fits. It just really just sits in there, so you can easily just pull it right up, and then you can put it right back on just like that. So you want to push it on. You notice it's going to be flat with the top here, and that's what that Z-Bar looks like for the key retaining. So it's what you would do um, after you get done rekeying the lock and you want it key retaining, you make sure that black dot is up. Go ahead and take your cylinder, I prefer to put it in like this just to make sure. Once you get it to right here and put the key in, you're going to turn it. It's going to pop all the way in. Now, I always recommend uh, before you put that Phillips screw in, just kind of do a, a test run here. And so just close the lock like that, turn it, make sure it's opening it. Now I'm going to put my finger down here. I'm going to try to pull the key out. As you can see, the key's not going to come. So at that point, we would put that screw back in and we'd be done. Now, if you don't want it to be key retaining, let me open this back up here. Just take this Z-Bar out, put the, put the cylinder back in the lock here. We'll close it, turn it and open it. And as you can see, we can pull this key back, we can pull it out, no problem. So if you, want, um, if you don't want the key retaining, that's all you have to do. Now let me go and put that back on here and I'll button this video up here. So we'll take this, I'm going to put this Z-Bar right back on here, do it with my other hand, just like that. Put it in like that. And I do want to point out that sometimes when you um, go to take these outer ends, sometimes that Z-Bar can get stuck down there. You just got to use a, you know, a screwdriver or some tweezers or something to get that popped out of there. But uh, we'll get that in there like that. We'll do a test run here, just like that. Now we'll put this screw back in, retaining screw. There we go. We'll close it. As you can see, it's nice and secure. I can't get this key out because that Z-Bar is in with that black dot up. So that's how the uh, ABIS Z-Bar works for the key retaining. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.